Yes, this is actually we are in Muthurajwala, but the entry point towards the wetland uh, is right. on this side. If you see you now, it, it, it creates islands here mm -hmm. and the, these patches uh, are shelter for the land animals uh, who live uh, close to uh, lagoons. Right. Uh, and um, as we know, mangroves also create soil yeah. uh, and it creates soil at a faster speed than anything else. Also the fact that it is, be, it is, it is able to absorb a lot of the pollutants. Uh, if you see the Hamilton Cala Canal is so polluted. Uh, it wasn't like that 10 years ago. It wasn't like that 10, 10, 15 years, yes. And so is this Ramsa protected? This is not Ramsa uh, protected okay. and most part of uh, Muthuraja village is not protected either under Central Environmental Authority as an environmentally sensitive area mm -hmm. or if not under the aggregarian or any other department as unprotected area. Only the area belongs to the Department of Wildlife Conservation is protected. Yeah. Uh, although the fact that uh, some of it is also being encroached and there are several activities happening in that area as well which needs a strict regulation, strict monitoring and strict enforcement uh, in order to protect uh, what is remaining here. Chance is obviously a very valuable uh, place for um, for our biodiversity. Um, can you tell us the extent of, of the biodiversity here and, and how many species of, of different animals and plants? And yes, uh, yeah. wetlands are always the most biodiverse uh, ecosystems anywhere in the world. Uh, uh, before I go into the specific details related to Mutrajavil, I must also state the fact that uh, wetlands are the uh, main uh, ecosystems anywhere in the anywhere in the world and we have as a country realized this therefore we have a zero mangrove deforestation policy um, uh, great policy great policy <laughs> yet a, yet another great policy uh, but when it comes to implementation enforcement we see as uh, most of the other policies um, the, the the policies not being implemented properly having said that um, mangroves uh, are a part and partial of any uh, wetland ecosystem uh, mangroves are considered the most uh, the, the the forest type uh, that sinks more carbon than anything else so it can absorb more carbon and therefore it grows uh, very well uh, and also the fact that mangroves provide a lot of food to the uh, uh, various species, land and um, uh, aquatic species and um, therefore uh, it is contributing immensely to the biodiversity. It also, uh, mangroves are also uh, helping the climate change in terms of carbon absorption and disaster risk reduction uh, when it comes to uh, uh, flooding and other types of uh, activities. And Specifically speaking about Muthurajavela, Muthurajavela has about uh, 194 plant species. Now that is a very big biodiversity for a uh, wetland like Muthurajavela, and it it also has about 210 uh, uh, fauna species. That is that is uh, animal species, uh, small um, and uh, medium scale animals and large animals too. And um, also the fact that we have about or rather Muthurajavala has more than 50 species of butterflies and um, it has various uh, types of fish, 41 species of fish. Mm. Now 41 species of fish here is also a great number because it, it's a big uh, fish diversity. Um, so looking at overall, looking at uh, Muthurajavala, it has a highly diverse mangrove, highly diverse fish and highly diverse flora and fauna diversity altogether and therefore it's very important and the fact also remains that uh, it, it's been a very uh, dense mangrove ecosystem. Uh, it regulates a lot of flooding that can happen in Colombo and we will be speaking about other services of Muthuraja Vela very soon. One additional fact which um, is uh, about fishing. Uh, there are a lot of communities depending on Muthuraja Vela, mainly on fishing and, and the lagoon itself, uh, Nigambu Lagoon. And um, 
So this biodiversity is essential. Biodiversity is essential, and for fish, uh, and for uh, 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 prawns, and other uh, other species that you uh, fish, uh, their breeding grounds are these mangroves. So if these mangroves are gone, if the wetland is gone, the fishing community will be the most hit. So Muthurajwala, obviously, as we all know, is one of the most important wetlands of Sri Lanka. Most important from the history, uh, it's one of the most important uh, wetlands in the country. So it's been a very interesting trip to Muthurajwala today. I've been here before, of course, but uh, coming after many years. Um, and of course, it's amazingly beautiful. It's very important to Sri Lanka. And it's an, uh, a wetland that we all um, need to protect because it's uh, important. Um, I think we explained many, many uh, reasons why it's important for Sri Lanka. Um, there are many things that need to be done, of course, to protect it. Um, new policies, new laws need to be created. Um, the existing laws need to be strengthened. Uh, current, uh, currently existing policies and laws need to be enforced, which is not happening. There are lands being taken over, which need to be look, looked at uh, more closely. And also, there's the garbage dump close by, which something needs to be done before more and more of that waste starts seeping in. Uh, people used to swim here, um, not even more than I think, um, 10 years ago, up to about 10 years ago even. Of course, you can't do that today because it's quite polluted. There's a lot of garbage uh, that you see on the edges of, of the canal. Um, the wildlife officers and other, other officer, officials need to be given the strength, um, the facilities and the power to, um, to enforce the laws. Um, they have a lot of difficulty um, in that area as well. Um, so these are some of the things that really need to be addressed um, so that we protect this incredibly uh, um, valuable asset of ours, um, which is uh, Mutharajwala wetland. And the same goes for other wetlands as well across the country.